they did let me film inside the porn room. But I will paint you a picture to the best of my abilities of what happened at BabsCon after dark. So, there was a line to get into the artist after dark room, which is a fancy way of saying you're about to see a bunch of sloppy pony pussy, and for some reason, little pony boobs above the crotch. Which, of course, is the wrong place for boobs. You can argue all day that it's anatomically correct for horses to have crotch boobs, but you know what isn't anatomically correct? Horns. Horns and wings. Fuck you. Anyways, you wait in line to get into this pussy room, and the moment you pass the threshold and poke around the six foot seven Fluttershy cosplayer in front of you, you're hit with this pungent, nay, suffocating smell of pennies and fish. My little pony eyes immediately teared up, and I questioned my decision to enter this nah. den of concupiscence. But I strove forward, destined to see what lie beyond. And what did my resilience award me? This. Wait, no. This. A dirty rarity fursuiter tucked into the corner, pleasing himself. The head neatly placed at his feet, its empty eyes staring. And all these Puritan ponies refused to give him the eye contact he desired. But not I. I stared him directly in his yellowed eyes for a full 45 seconds. At which point, I assume... Okay, so, the horse pussy room. It's lined with tables. And each table holds a bevy of pornographic objects. Among them were dockies. Countless dockies. Each booth displaying them like flags above their merchandise. Honestly, in some unholy reality, you could tile the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel with just the pillowcases at BabsCon. And frankly, I think Michelangelo would approve, as long as there was a god pony docky reaching to touch an atom pony docky with an 18-inch horse dog. Each table had mugs and keychains and tampons and pretty much anything you wanted Twilight Sparkle pissing all over Fluttershy printed on, they had. I'm certain you could buy a 1984 Pinto with Pinkie Pie scissoring Rainbow Dash. It was probably just out back. But in some slight against God pony, there were no fuckable plushies. Which, I mean, come on. Not even one to test drive? Now, you may be asking, is that it? Just a bunch of deftly crafted porn printed on mundane objects and YCH commissions? That's creepy. The answer would be yes, if it weren't for one pony that has ascended beyond what the fandom previously thought its limits. A hmm. renaissance thinker. Yes. Who could be aligned with Edison, Da Vinci, Archimedes. This mastermind sat upon a throne of My Little Pony panties clearly made for obese children, looking down at the crowd that had gathered because of their brilliance. I pushed past them all, desperate to see what had stolen the attention of these pony perverts. And once I reached the nucleus of this equestrian hemorrhoid, a blessed sight to behold, and her scent from the very flora of Eden, this pulchritudinous woman adorned with the garments of Rainbow Dash was the only thing on the vendor table, besides a small sign, ten dollars per spank. I immediately slid a crisp tenner to the vendor, and the beautiful woman turned to me and with a sly smile said, Awesome! So I reared back 
And with all the divine strength in my little pony soul, I thrust my open palm toward this woman's ass as if Twitter never existed. Her coccyx shattered. And that's how I was arrested at BabsCon. Wait, what were we talking about? Empty eyes, eyes, eyes.